am so grateful to speak with you today. My name is Tanya Weinreis. I am from Montana where I live with my husband, my hero, a Marine and retired police officer. My husband and I own Mountain Mud Espresso. We are not some multinational corporation. Our success is not measured by stockholders, but by our neighbors, the people we see at church, and at jiu-jitsu school with our son. Mountain Mud Espresso is the American story, a story not just for entrepreneurs, but for millions of hardworking men and women who are building their American dream every day. A few months ago, like so many businesses, we got the crushing news a large event we were serving was canceled because of the virus. Our business was on the brink, threatened to be shut down from losses that were not our fault. I was scared. I thought of our 50 employees, the Mountain Mud family, and when I thought of their jobs, I thought of their rent being due, their kids, and I felt personally responsible. I'm not too proud to admit that I fell on my knees and prayed, Lord, what do I do? His words rang clear, keep on working, it will be okay. I had faith, and let me tell you, you have to have faith when your husband is a Marine and a police officer who was shot at on the job. And when you run a business, a little faith goes a long way. Faith in Jesus and faith in America. But I'm worried we have a generation of Americans who have been told that the American dream doesn't exist. That's a lie. I know because I live that dream. It's why I feel so strongly that we need a president who believes in the American dream like President Donald Trump, now more than ever. I am so thankful that my prayers for help were answered. My company was one of the first to receive a PPP loan, and praise God, it has been a lifesaver. Not only were we able to keep every single employee, but we've been hiring weekly ever since. I feel for local businesses across America who are under assault from shutdowns, from riots, and now facing the terrifying prospect of Joe Biden coming after everything we've built. I am so grateful we have leaders like President Trump standing up for local businesses like mine. Thank you, President Trump. It is exciting to be part of the great American comeback story.